The US is planning to send a number of additional army tactical missile systems to Ukraine as part of a new $300 million package of military aid, according to two U.S. officials with knowledge of the discussions, the White House announced that it would send an emergency package of aid to Ukraine, including artillery rounds and additional rounds for the 155mm howitzers and the guided multiple launch rocket system, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters that the Pentagon was able to use cost savings from previous contracts to make a modest amount of new security aid available right now without impacting U.S. military readiness, citing two unnamed officials, NBC News said that the administration was willing to send a variant of the missiles, known as ATICMS, if a new $60 billion aid package approved by the Senate, but held up for now by congressional Republicans, becomes law. The report came as Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, said Russia was exploiting delays in aid to Ukraine. There is now an extremely difficult situation in several parts of the front line, precisely where Russian troops have concentrated maximum reserves, Zelensky said in newer variations of atoms that the Biden administration wants to send to Ukraine have a maximum range of nearly 300 kilometers, typically carrying cluster bomblets, allowing Ukrainian forces to strike the Crimean Peninsula. A deadly laser weapon which can blow up drones and hypersonic nuclear missiles at the speed of light has been revealed to the public in newly declassified footage. The video shows Britain achieving its first high-power firing of the Dragonfire laser weapon, as it successfully destroyed a drone in the sky using the system's death ray, the black and white snippet, published by the British Defence Ministry, shows the power of the laser to cut down targets at the speed of light, said UK Defence Secretary Grant Shapps. The UK has spent years developing the Dragonfire, which is a laser-directed energy weapon. A concentrated beam cuts through the airborne target. One of the main ideas behind laser-directed energy weapons are to provide a low-cost way of shooting down incoming targets like drones, taking away the need to use up expensive air defense missiles to take out threats such as cheap drones. In the more than two years of full-scale war in Ukraine, Russia has frequently used budget drones to target Ukraine. Ukrainian officials have said Moscow intends to use up Kyiv's scarce supply of costly air defense missiles and overwhelm its defenses, the British Defense Ministry said back in mid-January that it had carried out the first high-power firing of the laser weapon against aerial targets. The range of the Dragon fire is classified, the UK government said, but the weapon can engage with any visible target, London added. Russian troops will be deployed on the border with Finland, Russian President Vladimir Putin said in an interview with Russia One TV channel and Russia's RIA state news agency, the Russian leader said Finland's accession to NATO was meaningless, adding that he does not understand what has prompted the need for the alliance in Helsinki. Our relations used to be very good. But now the situation will change, Putin said. It should be noted that Finland joined NATO in April 2023. Earlier, Estonia's Foreign Intelligence Service warned that Moscow is planning to possibly double the number of troops along its western border with the Baltic states and Finland, as it anticipates a potential military conflict with NATO in the coming decade. Russians are planning to increase the military force along the Baltic states' border but also the Finnish border. We will highly likely see an increase of manpower, about doubling perhaps. We will see an increase in armed personnel carriers, tanks, artillery systems over the coming years, Kaupo Razin, the head of the service said. Recall Russia unilaterally terminated a Finnish-Russian border agreement dating back to 2012. While this move is largely symbolic as the agreement was suspended following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, it nonetheless demonstrates Russia's willingness to escalate tensions with its neighbor along its northernmost boundary with the EU and NATO. Four Russian army soldiers have made a video address to Chechen President Ramzan Kadyrov from Belgorod region bordering Ukraine. In the address, the soldiers said that Kadyrovites stayed in the territory of the region for six months and did not do anything useful during their stay, claiming that when it was necessary to fight, Kadyrovites ran away. The Russian servicemen said that Chechen soldiers are called Kadyrov's pigs among local residents, claiming that they are cowards and are only engaged in littering the territory. The soldiers called on Ramzan Kadyrov to keep his promise. They urged the Chechen leader to take your soldiers and leave Russia.
и ставленника его в Белгородской области, Рустама Агуева. Слушайте, вы как будто потерялись в России. Вот вы такие гордые чеченцы, хуё-моё. А как пришло время работы, так слились нахуй. Вы полгода простояли тут в школе, блядь. Жрали, срали, спали, рыгали. Вас местные называют чеченские свиньи. Потому что живете как в хлеву. Кадыровщие животные. Кадыров, завали свои ебалами. Если не отвечаешь за свой базар, забирай свои свиньи и уебуй с России. От... Вы хуже, чем бабы, от баб проку больше, бля. И да, Агуев, увижу тебя, завалю, пидораса, клянусь. Спасибо за внимание.